Yo, what's up? This is DJ Prince Paul. And I'm the Rhyme Already MC Delight. And I'm the Stets Funky Drummer Bobby Simmons. And, and we're, we're Stets of Sonic. And you're checking out allhiphop.com because they got the exclusive for real. They be telling you, don't wear no dresses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What's up, everybody? You're tuning into allhiphop.com. I am your host, DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorozano, the Bridge to the Streets. And this is a legendary moment for me and the platform. We got the legendary, the original hip hop band, Stetson Sonic, in the building. Dude, yo, 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 yes. yo, yo, yes. What's up, I, Yeah, I'm the Rhyme Already MC, Delight. Delight. And I'm the Stet Funky Drummer, Bobby Simmons. Woo! And I am DJ Prince Paul. The Grand Wizard DJ Prince Paul. And who's yo. not here with us? Daddy O. Daddy O. Daddy O. And Wise. And Wise. Oh. Okay. What's Wise's new name? What's Wise's new name? His new fed name is Lito Pregante. <laughs> Pregante. <laughs> He's fed. All right. So listen, gentlemen, let's start with the um the new album we have out. Here we it was a here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. Yeah. Um, what took what got, what took you guys so long to make a new album? Wow. Wow. I guess you want to uh, answer that, Bob? Yeah, well, I, I guess we just had to figure... First of all, we had to make sure that when we come together, this was going to feel right. Right, okay. okay. Before we made that decision, we had to do a couple of shows. Right. Um, we did a few shows, actually, before we started working on this album. But what we're, 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 we're really closed the deal was when we went over to the Netherlands. Okay. And we, we did a festival over there, and it was a particular song that uh, Prince Paul played that we... We recited one of the old songs, No BS Allowed, to that, to that right. new beat. And right there, everybody kind of felt like, yo, we, we, with new music or a new style of music, um, cats felt that they can get in and write some new stuff and get on board. So um, the, the, I would say that particular trip in the Netherlands, that was in 2019. 2019, okay. When we, when we felt that. So once we felt that, we just had to gather up what we was going to do. We wanted to work with some new people as well. Right. Though we are producers ourselves. Right. But we wanted to make sure that we get some of these new people in there to, to if, if they get the assignment, right. to understand what Stessa Sonic is about musically. Right. And, and also, um, just to add to that, um, as a group, I think we're just under our re reconstruction period. Okay. And sometimes when you are making a change for the better, right. you know, you, you have to take your time and make sure that you, you know, get it right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because... Um, um, we have a new, new audience, new people, they, they, you know, and so we want to socially engineer those people to understand exactly who we were as a group and right. so forth. And who you still are. Right. Right. Exactly. Now, I'm going to go all over the place because I, I remember, I can vaguely remember the day I heard Ghost Stetson. All right. This was 86. I heard Ghost Stetson. I heard. Um, Marley Moore playing it on WBLS. Mm. Okay. Right, I, I I remember this. Okay. Like okay. so, when I when I first heard that record, about how old were you? I was sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen. Nineteen eighty six. Yeah, okay. I was sixteen. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, when I heard that. All right. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a loyal fan of of hip hop in general. You know, I'm like okay. you know I, I've been listening to it. Okay. You know, through through the likes because of the likes of Red Alert, mm. Molly Mall, you know the Rap Attack show we used to come on Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. or whatever. So I re I remember listening to Ghost Tessa and um I didn't I didn't know if there was a drum machine or was that a band I knew the sample, I knew the Tom Jones sample. I, I knew, looking oh, out my looking sample. out my window. I knew I knew the I knew that, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. sample, but I wasn't sure if that was being played. Like what 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 sparked the um the idea to take that record and flip it into to the instrumentation to, to do ghost tests. Well, real quick before you answer, ain't there two drums on there? You got yeah. one is a Lin drum and then one's a live drum, right? Right. right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So you know, um, was in the apartment of Daddy Yo, and we had the Lin drum in the house. Right. And I told Daddy Yo the idea of the song that I had. Okay. And he said, "Well, tap out the beat that you know you want, and so forth and so on." So I tapped out the beat. We pass it over to um, DBC, um, D DBC, mm -hmm. right? And and whatever uh, Prince Paul was going to do to the record, but I made sure I let Daddy O know. I said, "This is going to be a live drum thing." You know what I'm saying? I got somebody uh, to actually who will play the drum. All right. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what began because I wanted to bring a, like a new sound to hip hop at that partic particular period in time right. and so forth and so on. Um, but we I knew it had to be banging. So the live drums also proceeded and will uh get people to understand that we are 
a hip hop band. Exactly. Talk, talk, talk your ish. Talk your ish. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. You know, <laughs> you know so. That, that's what that's all about that whole sound and so forth and so on bringing something that was evolutionary to the culture and right. the gender of, of, of rap music right now there's another part in the record that's legendary that people have sampled also it's the chant the go Brooklyn mm -hmm. is that the original chant where everybody's sampling or was that oh yeah Right, because yeah, a lot of people go on with it. Right. Yeah. 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 That, that was the that's, the, that's, that's us. That's the original go Brooklyn. So yeah. anybody mm -hmm. using that go Brooklyn, bro, that's if you hear that, my voice is in your record. <laughs> right. <laughs> you think about it, every time I hear it, it's like, yo, yep. I'm in that record. Yep. Right. Exactly. Now, he's even you, now to um, but you know, um, I'm sorry not to cut you off. You know, also when you go to uh to the to the uh, Nets game. That's what they play. Right. Go over like, oh, yeah, here when you're yeah. the next game. I'm, Only if they win and they lose and you don't hear it. <laughs> right. Because I knew that was a chant because my, my older brother, he would go to Union Square. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I couldn't go at that time, but he would go and he would and he would tell me, like, go, go. They, they, right. It was crazy. Like, right. Brooklyn. Like, when they so he survived. That. Because whenever he come on. Let me tell you two records mm -hmm. that come on. That and Mighty Mike Masters. Oh. The main event. Main yeah, event. Main when event. they play that. It's yeah. Brooklyn, like, right. chains getting snatched. It's, no, See, for real. People know we are lying. No, for real. Everybody we tell this story to, they be thinking, like, they got to no, be lying. Real, huh? I, my brother would tell me, like, yo, mm -hmm. it was wild in there. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, I'm just like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to go there. Like, what? <laughs> Step didn't mean for the energy of that record to cause a robbery. <laughs> right. No, but a lot of people would get robbed. Yeah. That, that, that's like, that was literally robbery music. Yeah. Like, no, so real, they would wait, we play that, and they didn't really start wild. Yeah, you know, yeah, snappy yeah. chains, whatever. They, that, that's how that's how it went down. Yes, sir. Obviously, you didn't mean for that. No, no. 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 But <laughs> that's the record. Like, yeah, when well, we make this, time when we're going to get robbed. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. the dance floor be packed. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Then people get robbed. Yeah. <laughs> right. So even down to the um, audio, too. It, it, so I, I, cause I hear that go Brooklyn and everything mm -hmm. from that point on, and it it actually stemmed from the Stets record. Right? Yeah, what what Daddy O produced the uh, top building. Right, exactly. Right, so right. that's what I'm saying. So that carried on. It carried on. Right. Over and, across many different mm -hmm. right um, mm -hmm. um, records. Right. Throughout the many different decades. Right. You know. Now, now this question is from my my um, brother Prince Paul. All right. I'm a producer as well. I always looked up to you, bro, from like the Grave Diggers, De La Soul. Oh, thank you. You know, appreciate it. That's a, you, you, you had your hands in a lot of product, native tongues. Like, you've done a lot of stuff. Like, how did you get into production? Like, what made you say, damn, I, I want to do that? I don't know. It's a natural evolution because when I came up, the first thing was the drum machine. And okay. The first person I heard with a drum machine was Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster Flash. Yeah. yeah. You know, do, 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 do. what? Flash on the so, beat. So, automatically, as a DJ, you're like, yo, I got to get a drum machine. Right. You want your MCs to rhyme on it. Mm -hmm. Then it progresses to making records. Okay, now I need to program a drum machine on a record. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I mean, that's really just, just the start of it. You know, it, it's just programming drums and program it for your group and then programming it to make a song. And then you learn song structures. Okay, there's a hook, there's a chorus. Right. This is the verses, the drum roll comes, you know, it's all the technical part of it. Right. And then, you know, you, you add in the sampling era. And then Ooh, to, after that, it's, mm -hmm. it's, you know, that, that's my life story. Right. I, I, a lot of people don't give you credit for it. And I don't know who actually did it, but I, I'll say Public Enemy and then I saw the inventors of, of, of skits. Oh, that was me. Mm. Yeah, what on records. Like, nobody... Okay. You said, speak your truth. Right, speak the <laughs> truth. Talk your shit. Mm -hmm. See, I'm saying, you. Come there on, you go. go. That, that, was, that, that, that was, was me. See, I don't need a drink now. Go ahead, Paul. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Talk right. your shit. Mm. No, but, but inspired by Public Enemy, <laughs> I, right. I've been, I was inspired by uh, um, Beastie Boys, uh, Dr. Dre, what he was doing on the West Coast. Right. That is Three Feet High and Rising. Right. And that's, the, that's the skits. That's everything. It's, it's you know, being in your own world. Right. Mm -hmm. Right now, now putting that um being a part of Three Feet High Horizon with Dayla, was you were you always an avid record collector? Like where were y'all? Like y'all just picking records in the dark? Well, like let's try this. Let's well, do I think this. I could speak for all of us. Okay. It all starts at home with our parents. With our parents, that's okay. the first digging spot you have. Yeah, that's true. Is you go that's through true. your parents' stuff. Oh word, I didn't know that. Oh, and right. you find things, and then if you got siblings that are older like I did, oh right. word, you know you, that's that's where it all starts, and then. 
you know, from from that point, you going out to look for stuff. You're like, okay, any 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 album with dudes with afros on it. Oh, this is a band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the early days. You know, so, you know there's certain right, cues and, certain covers, and like... then you start looking at at producers and writers and like, right. okay, usually this dude has something that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I remember back in the days when I was DJing for I started DJing super young. I started DJing when I was 10. So this is 77. Okay. So back in 77, 78, to find breaks, we would look for anything that was made in 1976. That was like always the cue. Right. Yo, 76 had break beats. 76 had break beats. Yeah, that was, yeah. Right. Or you could look at the grooves and see oh, the yeah, space. Oh, yeah, the dark spot. The dark spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That give you an era. Yeah, you know, I dig too. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So you, you, you definitely did that. You know what I mean? So... Were you self-taught as a producer? Like, well, actually, I, I self-taught, but what really helped me was being in Stetson Sonic. Okay, like watching every, you know, like delight the, and watching um, Daddy O, um, what they did, and then more or less having a drum machine. Everything's drum machine, mm -hmm. right? Once you sit with something at your house, remember, there's no social media. You right. know that I had no cable. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the, you know, barely had a girlfriend. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So well, I'm that, sure that was changed. that. Was yeah, that, mm -hmm. that, yeah. that was my focus. <laughs> Me and the drum machine. You and the drum machine, and then, and then you know, took it from there. Right. Okay. To you, my man. What happened? Um, what, what's the question? Hold on. Okay. Stop the violence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Stop wow. the stop the violence. Pop 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 pop. pop. The shot. Who's the, the blame? blame. Headline, front page, raps, raps the name. name. MC Delight here to state the bottom line. The black on black crime was way before our time. time. Took you a know? brother life. With his <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey. that record, man, that, uh, that, that's that got to be one of the greatest records of all time mm -hmm. for, for a positive reason, on, right. you know, on top of that. Right, right. Um, let's fast forward today. What? That stuff is still going on, which you were rapping about against the violence. Mm -hmm. But yet, we don't see, we have yet to see the artists of today come together, put their differences aside, right, for for a worthy cause, obviously, and do a record like that, right? Like that, that was that's mainly due to, um, sad to say it, and most people probably don't see it clearly, but that's ego. Mm. See, ego will divide us up, right? It'll make you not unify with another person right just the ego because it's attended by envy jealousy anger and whatever the case may be right that's what the ego is it you know is attended to right you know we all have one but as far as whether or not we take control or become disciplined and right. understand the relationship that when I see you, I see myself. Right. You my brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing that I would do to you. Right. Or my brother, my brother, mm -hmm. right. my sister. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So all that is due to ego and how we growing. You know what I'm saying? I know it's good to have pride. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then sometimes the pride is can be overbearing. You right. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you see groups do ciphers and whatever the case may be that's them coming together right for a common cause and that's what it's all about that's why people don't come together to try right. to do the, do a record but my man daddy yo he's trying to do a thing with with the new artists with the new artists right self-destruction part two well yeah i've been i've been advocating for that for so long do right. you think it's a, it's because back then you had you know everybody not, not say everybody but there was more knowledge of self five percent of islam so people were more in touch with right who they are so it, it was <clears throat> i think it would be easier to for you guys to get along back then right as of now i don't really hear anybody in this era talking about knowledge of self or right. anything right remotely close to anything positive yeah well, there's, there's a reason for that okay. one of the, the one of the reasons for that is is that Back then, the record companies, this this rap thing was new. See, this your alley, but I know where you're going. But, go ahead. <laughs> but, but this, 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 it was new to them. So they allow us to speak our piece through music right? without even getting involved. Without they even never get... said, no, don't make a record called Free South Africa. Or don't make this record called da 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 It was like, no, you know, you you somehow the people is gravitating to this thing called rap. Right. So, you know, if Run DMC do proud to be black, we're not saying don't do that. Don't they'll, do that. they'll do that. Right. 
it was a, the, the record industry now, they're looking at artists. They saying, look, this is a billion dollar business now. Right. What those guys was doing back then was a hundred thousand dollar business. Let right. them go out and make those 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 little piece of chips. Right. A billion dollar business, which means we want a billion dollars back into this. You know, we're now to debt. I mean, which uh, back then it was like, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, and they spent more time working with us on our craft. Right. I, like, I, go ahead. You guys go ahead. Work it out. I don't know right. this thing called hip-hop or rap. You know it. We just want to put it we out. We just want to put it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Today, every company or every every exec think they know it now. Right. That That's true because back then you had X-Clan. Right. You had Poor Righteous Teachers. Exactly. Lockheed Shabazz. Mm -hmm. That's the Sonic. Exactly. Grand Nubians. Right. Exactly. Even Paris on the West Coast. Um, you had a lot of people that were self-righteous and, 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 and taught, you know, taught, taught knowledge of self. And, and, and nobody interfered. Exactly. And, and, and you know, and what it is is that it's not that the other stuff can't play. Right. But it we always had it. Balance. More of a balance. Right. I, where you hear a little bit of everything and stuff like that. I agree. I always say music don't need to be positive and negative. It needs right. to be balanced. Mm. Right? Exactly. It's all different aspects of life. Because right. even with me, I listen to NWA, but then I listen to De La Soul. Right. I listen to Ice Tube. Tea, but then I listen to Tribe Called Quest. Right. I mm -hmm. had a choice and a balance. Right. I didn't. It wasn't just predominantly. That's it. That's you don't it. have that. That's now. all you got. Right. You don't you know have what that. Mean? Now. Right. Some may say you do have a choice because they'll say, "Yeah, Drake," and they'll say such and such. But <laughs> when you when you realize it, I'm not, literally, I, I'm asking you, when did you change the record? That's what I'm saying. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Not to, not to put down some of these artists. Some some artists I do listen to that's pretty good. But some some artists, I'm like, when did the DJ switch the record? And they say he been switched the record. That's such and such. I'm like, yeah, it sounds like one long record. Exactly. It definitely sounds like long, long, one long record. Mm -hmm. Now, you you guys also are responsible for um, inspiring groups like The Roots. Right. right. That's a fact. This right. is yeah. a fact. Because right. this is the original hip hop band. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Wow. How does that make you feel? Pretty good, man. I mean, it, at least it, it it shows that we was we was going in the right direction. It shows that uh, some people who thought we were crazy or we don't know, they're, they're, you guys don't really know what you're doing. This don't make no sense. We see right. what well, we knew, but now some of them see that it does make sense. Because even before the roots did it, because, you know, Quest, them, those are our friends. Right. So, you know, we were really cool with them. <clears throat> but before the Roots actually was visually shown doing it, Fuji's, Fuji's was doing Yeah, I was going to say Fuji's. They had yeah. their drama and yeah, their bass player yeah. and their DJ. You know, right. It was like, because that's pretty much our setup. Right. And then even someone like Queen Latifah Queen was Latifah, doing it. Right. So everybody kind of saw what we were doing and it was like, well, this thing can work. I'll never forget when MC Hammer said, and this is a fact, MC Hammer said, um, when Hammer was on tour with us, we played Detroit. We played the Joe Louis Arena. Mm -hmm. And we were setting up our set. You know, we was doing sound check, and we had to do sound check quickly. So this was when Hammer was with, he had his um, hype man, Too Big MC. Too Big MC. And <laughs> while we were setting up, they was watching us set up. And I and, and, and I remember hearing Too Big MC making his jokes about, yo, I, I thought this was a hip-hop show. While Lakeside and them is on, on, on the bill, like making fun of us. Oh, right. Because we were a band. Right. And then... Okay. I remember Hammer, he didn't whisper it. He pulled two big MC to the side and said, you see what they doing? We're going to do that next. Right. What happened next year with Hammer? Right. He had Earth, Wind & Fire. He had right. that big band. Right. I mean, in all fairness, I never looked at two big MC as hip hop. So. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. So for I know. him to say that, I know, yeah. like well, no, those, those was his, his exact like, words. You ain't hip hop. What up, two big MC? Where you at? Well, we got love for you, though. We ain't in love, love for you. I never considered you hip hop, my guy. But well, we wasn't late. We yeah, wasn't I mean, Lakeside, man. You like, can pick somebody else. He said Lakeside. Lakeside. What's <laughs> wrong with you, man? Okay, this is probably Lakeside, but he could have picked like Ohio players. You being who you are, you heard of Clive Summerfield, obviously. Right, right, right. That's a drummer for James Brown. Yeah, for Jim, right, right. That's hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where hip hop comes from. Yeah, yeah. That, fuck, that funky, funky drummer is maybe mm -hmm. the most used drum pattern yes, it is. in hip hop history. Period. Yes, it is. You know what I mean? Yes, it is. It's not the label, it's with the sound. It's the sound. Mm -hmm. you know, you I think Amen whatever. Brothers might be the number one. What's, what's it? Which one? Amen Brothers. Amen Brothers? Amen Brothers? Yeah. Or, or, or Peace the President. <laughs> It's actually, honestly, that's the number. It's it's the most sample you could, you could fact check me, fact check me, fact check. Me. Well, I always thought fact funky drummer was funky drummer oh, yeah. or, or a piece of president, a honey check. drippers, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna Everybody have their luck. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen is the most brother. sampled record I think. Not for nothing. Okay. Dr. Dre used that for Shred Out of Compton. That's the beat. Yeah, it, right, 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 right. There's a whole lot of records yeah. across the board, right. okay. from like pop but records sure. to rock records. 
I still got fucking Fact drummer. I, I'm gonna go with fucking drummer still. All right. <laughs> there it is, people. What do you think? What do you yeah, think? Let's go. What, you think? what do you think? <laughs> think? Write it down which one you think. Smack fact, don't have to think. You can look it up. You can look it up, right? <laughs> what, what do you think? Yeah, and a matter of fact, I thought it was funky drummer. What's man? the most sample record? Funky drummer? Amen what Paul said. Amen, brothers. Amen, brothers. Or go Brooklyn. Go Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> right. <laughs> go Brooklyn. Now, and, and I, I don't know how long it's been between your albums, because I know you had um Stats on Fire and then um Blood, Sweat, and Tears. No, no on no. Fire in full, in full gear. gear. In full, okay, in full gear. And then Blood, Sweat, and No Tears. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Right, all right, cool. And then in between that hiatus, so I want to say hiatus, what were you guys doing? Like, did you ever completely disattach from music? And like, what, 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 what happened? Because a lot of people don't know. No, well, you you saw the transition, right? You saw the transition, Prince Paul. Um, I think right after Blessed No Tears. Well, I mean, as far as the group, as far as the group. Oh, you mean as far as the group? The group, right? Oh, you mean what we was doing individually? Right, individually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. You, you, you saw pretty much how we all kind of span. Right. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm usually good with my years. I think right after Blessed No Tears, which was '93, mm -hmm. I think that's when you began trailing the the Grave Diggers project. Yeah, Grave Diggers. Yeah, so, so working at early '90s. Right, right, yeah. early '90s. Right. Okay. So we were all looking at different paths. I know dad, at the time, Daddy was doing commercials. He was doing polio string cheese, the best right. part of the pizza. Right. He was, and, and dark and lovely. Dark, dark and lovely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, did, he, he did the what dark and... What makes your hair so soft? <laughs> so glow, right? Yeah. Just, Yo. <laughs> that's funny, man. <laughs> Actually funny. And he was in CB4, his voice. Right, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, did, yeah, he, he was. was oh, that's the Bob. Yeah. Like, was, that was his yeah. voice. That was him. He yeah. asked, and he actually wrote... Oh, you're right. He actually wrote all the... the, all the, all the the lyrics to the different lyrics to the to the song. So he wrote on black and the black. black, yeah, black no, black, not black. that, not that, but like all the raps and stuff like that. That's written <laughs> itself. And he had the solo album. Right. Then he did. Right. He did a "You Could Be a Daddy" <laughs> album. Right. Um. So we all just. I, um. I, I. I was. I actually produced Shabba Ranks. Okay. Uh. Tony Terry. Didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I actually did the track with uh him and KRS One. Dope. The dope. Jam. Okay. With that one. So we all kind of just uptown. All oh, right, oh, it, that's Mace's um, nephew, uh, cousin. Cousin, Na uh, Mace's cousin, uh, dope on plastic and um, uptown um, uh, producer. So we all went on to just do different things. Right. Um, I, I said this before, and I'm gonna say this again. Everybody asks, when did we break up? We actually didn't break up. We just all just said, you know what? We got other things we want to pursue, and we all, we pursued. Them. And you pursued them. We never, we 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 always came back. Cause I remember one time Paul called me. He said, "Yo, friend of mine want to do an event. He want to do Stetsasonic and Grave." That was the first time Grave Diggers and Stetsasonic ever performed. Yeah, I forgot about that. We ever performed what? together. Wow, That's that was at him the Ritz. Yeah, that yeah. was at the Ritz. So we will always show up right, to right. do performances, but we didn't know when it was going to be. We was going to start working on. A new project. I, right. I, I think we were happy that it happened this way. Right. You know. Now this question is for everybody individually. You can answer. It. You know, everybody's obviously have a different answer. How do you guys feel about the current state of where music is hip hip hop wise right now? Oh, I um, I enjoy it, and um, I'm, I'm watching very carefully. And as far as what there's many artists that I like. Okay. And so each generation has an opportunity to express ex itself. Mm -hmm. And with them having that opportunity to express themselves, and you know, to me, it's, it's good, it's cool. Now, hopefully they can grow and, you know, uh, uh, the subject matter sometimes get can get better because you become older, more mature, right. and so forth and so on. But yeah, each, each generation have their time to express themselves, but that doesn't mean that you shun the past or the history, right? Because there is no now without your past. Without, bro, dope. Well, I don't hear nobody in today <laughs> making records. I'm black, y'all. I'm, I'm black, black y'all. <laughs> and I'm black, and I'm black, and I'm black, black. Somebody make the record. <laughs> Somebody stop. I'll tell you, right? Now, there's some, there's some acts that I do like that's out today. Um, so I'm not, I'm not mad. I just want to see more diversity, diversity. in it. Yeah. You know, there's, a, there's a lot more things to talk about. So. You know, Facts. if you're a poet, you, you, my guys, they're poets. Right. They can, they can, they can, if a topic happened, I say, yo, such and such happened on the train, stabbings has happened on trains, there'll be a story Everybody's behind scared. it. There's no stories in hip hop no, stories right now. Nobody's storytelling. Nobody has nothing Except to talk about. the obvious people like Nas, the people that's, right. that, you know, are solidified with that, but the, the current generation, nobody tells stories. 
Exactly. Uh, like, and I miss, that's a big part of hip-hop. Some of the biggest records in hip-hop or stories, yeah, children's yeah. story. Yeah. And the Click productions record. need to change too, because everybody's starting to sound like they just, you know, um, 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 uh, just taking on someone else's track and just, you know, I'll, I'll do it too. I mean, we did it, but we made changes with somebody else's groove. All right now, you guys had your own sound. I one thing oh, yeah. about the, one thing about the '80s, '90s era, everybody had a sound. Mm -hmm. right? No doubt. That, period. Right. Like you, that's just a fact. Right. Like you guys had the live band sound and the, the live drums. That was your sound. Right. You know, nobody tried to copy that, even though it worked for you guys. But nobody said, you know what? Everybody does do that. Then they would have would have been watered down. You wouldn't want to hear it no more. Oh, I can see all your people right now typing. What they talking about? <laughs> I can see them in the chat room right now. It's all hip hop. That's what oh, we talking about. I'll be seeing them in the chat room. Right. What are we talking about? They they play music. They do different styles. I don't know. Right. I, I see you. it. Right. I see it though, but right. How do you feel? I know. I, I mean, I, I like what, what's what's out, and I'll say it in in this regard is that there's so much stuff that's out. Is having to weed through all the bad stuff to get the stuff that's good. <laughs> they typing right now. What do you mean all the bad stuff? No, no. There's actually stuff that's good. But you gotta remember when we came out, there were what, a couple hundred songs out. You know, mm -hmm. a year, maybe if that. Now you got thousands upon thousands, thousands. upon thousands, and you gotta really dig through all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about the stuff that's well promoted that we hear that mm, we, you know. Right. That you, but there's actually stuff that's pretty good. Now I'll I'll agree with you. Like the diversity, it, there's a problem. And but the, then it's a project of today. Because if you think about it, what really has the time to grow? Because as soon as somebody hears something that might have the potential of doing something, it's exploited. Mm -hmm. So nothing has a proper time to kind of develop itself to you know to grow to become something. It's almost like you learn how to play basketball and the first thing you try to do is cross, mm -hmm. it's, it's the dunk, but mm -hmm. you don't know the fundamentals. Right. You right. know, it's just going from zero to hundred in my eyes. Right. 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 No, that's 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 a, that's a valid point. You're right. Right. Everybody want to do Steve Cur Steph Curry and shoot threes. Right. Some miss <laughs> without the fundamentals, right? That, that, yeah, everybody right. can now go to the basket. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> now, I had a question for Daddyo, and maybe you guys could clear this up for me. Mm -hmm. I, obviously, he's not here to speak for himself, but on here we go again. The, the title track from the album. He says, "I'm old school like Melly Mel." But no bitter, but no bitter. <laughs> yeah, you answered that delight. <laughs> Why? I'm not drunk. You answer. <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, that's that's for for him to answer. Okay. Why, why I'm not I'm I, I appreciate it. You know, and I appreciate what Daddy O um, talks about. But right. you know, for me to tell you why he said what he said, I yeah. All right, I was hoping he was answer. here because that was like my first question. Like, what the hell happened? Like, well, you could reach him at Instagram and ask him yourself. You think it's at Professor Daddy O. Yeah, yeah at, go go direct goes to his to his uh, DMs or whatever and ask. Mm -hmm. He'll answer it. But, right. but, but when we was making, he also said it wasn't really. They may take it as a Mel may take it as a shot, but in his own words, what he said to me is that it's not really a shot. But it sounds like it though. Diesel live battle, 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 battle. 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 <laughs> Let's take it to the old school. You know, he said he's old school, like yeah. Mel. So let's Living take it to it. old school. Let's get a battle going. Hey man, I respect them both. I respect. And I, and I, 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 hey, I pay to see that. Right. Sponsor it here. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. 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 here. Right 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 Right here. 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 Yeah, you know, I'm the exactly. winner. Right. <laughs> so, man, I wish we had a lot of time, but you, you, your people are flagging me down like an air traffic controller right now. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> it's like, 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 seriously, like, they're like, <laughs> you're doing hammer moves and all that. <laughs> no, but just so that you know, we, we definitely wanted to come in. We're glad that you I'm, asked right. us to be here right. because, you know, again, what we were saying earlier is we're happy that a lot of our peers and people who respect the art of hip-hop, we're glad that they, they came aboard to say, hey, man, we know what those what those guys are about and what they do. Right. And we wanted to, to sit here to tell um, our story. So as when this people see this, hopefully everybody will continue to watch the TV One Unsung. So that's Sonic Unsung. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't seen it over the weekend past, you got enough time to see it because they're going to keep re repeating it all the time on TV TV One, so it's a TV One. I'm still right. Sonic on Sun. And I want to and I want to do this album justice real quick. Let's talk about the real quick the mm -hmm. album. Like, mm -hmm. who are some of the people on it? Like, some of the tracks, some of the standouts, or where where they can get it, you know, and all types of things of that. Well, they, they, well, they can actually you can purchase the album at stetsonic.com uh, Bandcamp. Okay. Um, 
Um, uh, we, we really didn't do too many features and the ones that we did feature on it we wanted to make sure that they got the assignment of what Stessa Sonic embodiment is about right. so the features that we did get we have Rusty Jooks on it okay. we got a song called Notes of Impressions uh, uh, featuring Rusty Jooks and then we got another song called The Cypher mm. which features Smooth the Hustler Smooth the Hustler South Smooth the Hustler yeah definitely shout out to Smooth the Hustler keeping it in Brooklyn and, yeah, no you problem. see what I'm saying that's what you're doing here and, and Marla Rain that's what you did there people's familiar with Marla Rain from right. the source uh, uh, battle mm -hmm. uh, rap so she, uh, she's on it. Um, we, we also got involved with some R&B singers as well. Lilo Thomas, if I remember Lilo mm -hmm. from back in the 80s. He actually did the vocals on the song Here We Go Again. Wow. Because I did talk to Ron Isley personally. Uh, I, don't yeah, know if, gonna, yeah, I don't know if Ron Isley is seeing this. And, and, and I'm friends with Chris Jasper. So, Ron, if you're watching this, man... I couldn't afford you, man. <laughs> hey, I couldn't afford real talk. you. No, 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 I'm, that's real I'm not lying. I'm, I'm telling you, he, I, he told me, you know, what he said, no, no, I didn't think well, How much was it? Yo, yo, Ron Isley wanted close to like a quarter of a million dollars. And hey, you know what? He deserves it. No, he does. He deserves, he deserves it. it. Like, I'm like, I'm, I, was damn, looking, Ron. I was looking like um, Eddie Murphy, like John <laughs> Come on, come on, come on Ron. For real. Ron. Come on, Ron. But, but love to them for saying it was okay <laughs> but to re-record yeah, the song re -re and, and so go ahead and do it. So, no doubt. He's worth every bit of that and yes. more. That's Ron Isley. Yeah, so, but Lilo yeah. Thomas is another feature who actually did the vocals on it. So, um, we're pretty happy about this album. We're looking forward to uh, doing another one. Okay. Yeah. We was gonna actually have Shaggy do Stead Dreams. It wasn't him. Right. No, no, right. <laughs> but another one. Dad joke. <laughs> I know, I know, right? I know, right? It wasn't me. But, but, but another one. <laughs> I couldn't afford him. You know what I'm saying? Who's but that? Yo, Shaggy. I'm, I'm a shitty one. Oh, Mr. Shaggy one. No, Shaggy this wanted, is for all their business out there. Shaggy wanted Sting money. Sting money? What's well, that? He did sell 10 million. Number. Give me a number. Call, call, like, did, did, like, I'm not drunk, man. <laughs> 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 what did Shaggy want, man? Close to like a million dollars, man. Come on, man. Shaggy fucking. Bro, Shaggy fucking. I know. Shaggy fucking. Oh, about maybe, yeah. About, about 800 grand, something close to me. God yeah. damn. Yeah. That's, that's astounding, bro. Yeah. Why you gonna do that? But it's all good, though. I'm speaking up for my people, man. Let me speak up for you. Okay, Come on, Shaggy. Come on, you can't do that. Yeah, man. Come on. Come on, B. <laughs> Come on, B. <laughs> it wasn't me that did whatever they got to you. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> okay, well, hey, he's worth it, too. But, yeah, damn, yeah, yeah. everybody's worth what we'll they get him. We'll get him on the next one. We'll, right. we'll got him. We'll get him. One thing I, wanna, I, I think I, I, I must say, so it doesn't get twisted. Uh, when we formulate the group, part of our influence was... Grandmaster Flash and the Furious. Right. Right. Okay. Right. You okay. Know what I'm saying so. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for those guys. Wasn't. Yeah. That's respect, you know, man. So I, that's the, Nobody would. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Now they, you that's know, a fact. They want to battle. They can battle. Yeah, it's battle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's what. And Mel's gonna start off by saying a child is born with no state of mind. He's gonna start off with that first. <laughs> right. I'm neutral. Yeah. Oh, now you neutral. Know <laughs> I thought I wanted to see the battle. Okay. 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 I respect them both. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mel, no, Mel's a good guy. No, no, he is. And you know what's crazy about that real quick before we bounce? Mm -hmm. Melly Mel used that rhyme on three records. Did Super he? Rapping. Super Rapping. Oh, wow. The Message. Wow. And Survival. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. The child you're, you're, was born you're with those no state of mind. mind. Was born. Right, DMC used that, too. Uh, no, but on a, on a record too. The they did. born with no state of mind, blind to the ways. Of, oh no, wait a minute. I'm no, that's that's me. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. He was on survival. I'm, I'm yeah. bugging. I'm that's survival. Run them shoes. Damn. Oh, that's from Long Kent. Damn. He's on that. And he said, "Free me." A child is born with okay. no state of mind. Three times. Keep going. I know you. Know, you got to get publishing. Keep going. I know, right? He used it three times. Tell me a rapper that used the same rhyme three times. It was so hot, he got to use it three times. Exactly. But only two of them go. I'm not mad at that. I'm mad at that. Hey, that's how it goes. So. I want to thank you guys for coming by, man. Well, we got to do a part two to this. You know, I have, so many more, have so many more questions about the Palladium and all those oh, clubs. the Palladium. Yeah, wow. yeah, I have so many. Yeah, yeah, I have so many questions, you know, about the um the uh, the song you did for uh, from the Africa, Africa. Yeah. at the time when it was apartheid going on right, and right. you chose to do those type of records well well, well make make it happen tell them this is gonna be a part two don't part say this is over no this is over this is part two next episode hey that's a part two no I say him delight this is show oh okay this is show join us for part two there you go coming soon and we'll all hip hop don't let Bobby boss you around go Brooklyn go Brooklyn go Brooklyn that's what it is man we out peace Peace, peace.